Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So basically in today's video we are going to be doing another look with the Alien palette. So I have an idea and I think it's going to work out really well but basically I want to double into like the orange so like Martian soil. Um, so like this colour and I want to do abduction um, and I want to double into some of these neutrals as well. Um, I didn't use Titan in my last look, so I will use that in this look. My aim over this whole week is to use every single shade of the palette. I think I will be able to do it. But yeah, that is what I want to, that's kind of the look I want to go with today. And then I want to do blue liner with your still on the property. I think it's going to look so cool. Um, so yeah, that is what we're going to do today. If you're new here, my name is Literary Lewis and I am based in Adelaide, Australia. And yeah, basically this week I'm doing a whole week of alien looks. I think this one might be up a little bit late because I am filming on Tuesday and this is supposed to be up like right now. But I was so buggered after work on Sunday. I was just like, no. And then yesterday I spent editing Monday's video, which went up really late. Oh, it did go up too late. It went up about 5.30, but I think this is going to be really late. But let's just jump right into it. If you want to see me do another look with Alien, then just keep on watching, guys. Right, so first off, we're going to go in with the transition colour. And I think I might go in with Titan because I haven't used that yet. So it's just this shade up here the very like creamy shade and I'm just going to go in with my trusty little Jaclyn Hill brush that I've been loving. I absolutely love this brush. It's the JH32 and I'm going to use that in my transition. Let's see how pigmented it is. It's just a tiny bit darker than my natural skin colour so that's okay. That's totally fine. But yeah, you can barely see it on the lid. Which is good, it'll probably help out blend out shades better, so that's fine. Then I'm going to go into Gravity, we used that in the last tutorial, but it's just this shade here. I'm going to pop that in the crease as well, I'm going to use the same brush and just pop it tightly in the crease. Right, and then I'm going to go in with the shade Martian Soil, which is this orange here. And I'm going to blend that in the crease as well, but with the smaller JH brush. I think this is a JH33. Yep, so the JH33. And I'm going to grab Martian Soil and blend that in the crease as well. And I'm also going to bring that on my under eye as well. These colours are blending together so nicely. Oh my god, Jeffrey kills it every time, honestly. So good. Right, then I'm going to go in with my packer brush. I'm going with my Jaclyn Hill one. And I'm going to go in with Martian Soil again, which is that orange. And I'm going to pack it on the inner and outer portion of my eye. Oh wow, I love this shade. This as a lip colour would be really pretty. I'm so excited for Jeffrey's video tomorrow. He's released, he's showing us the Supreme Frost shades and he's got the Mini Nudes Bundle Volume 2. Oh my god, I'm so excited. And then what I want to do is finally I want to dive into this shade. I've been waiting. <laughs> um, I'm going to go in with Abduction, which is this shade here. It's like, oh my god, it's like a neon green. It's like, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. It's like neon green, yellow, like mixed together. That's the best way to describe it. I'm going to get that on the same brush and that is going to go directly in the middle. Alright, so that is what the eye is looking like now. I absolutely love abduction. I think it's going to be so pretty like all over the lid. Um, or And even as an inner corner, that would be really pretty I think. Um, next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab You're Still on the Property and I'm going to do a little... Oh, actually no. I'm lying. I'm sorry. I'm telling Porky Pies here on this channel. Sorry about that. Um, I'm going to grab Martian Soil again and I'm going to do the same as what I did on the upper eye on the bottom eye. Even just like that is really pretty um, but we're going to be adding more don't worry. Okay now the next step I want to do this is a very experimental but I want to do like a normal wing 
but then I want to do a wing like on the lower lash as well as if like it's the same on top as it is on the bottom I'm gonna see how we go but first we're gonna do the start wing so I'm just gonna put some sticky tape on I'm gonna grab you're still on the property and I'm gonna use that as the liner I think it's gonna look so cool um, so I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna pop it on the back of my hand and then just use like a brush to put it on I'm gonna do my best to show you guys but if it cuts to me just having it on just understand that it's very hard to do liner on camera <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to grab it on a brush and I'm just going to that we're done with that, I'm just going to peel it away, see what it looks like. Ooh, she's skinny queen. Um, and then I'm going to wait for that to dry and I will be right back and I'm going to try do the same on the lower lash. Hopefully that makes sense, but you will see. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to wait for this to dry and then I'll be right back. Actually, we can do my inner corner while we wait. I just want to go in with Pluto for my inner corner. I'm going to grab my trusty little Jacqueline Hill 42 brush and I'm going to go into the shade Pluto and I'm just going to use the mirror on the back of the palette and I'm going to pop that in my inner corner. Ooh, that's pretty. This is that shade that has like the tiniest bit of like a rose gold like shift to it and I think it's so pretty but being partnered with the yellow it definitely brings out more of a like a yellowy rose gold I don't know how to describe it but it's really really pretty like she's really pretty but I'm just going to do put the sticky tape on like the opposite way so like I don't know I don't know how to describe this but like hopefully you get it <laughs> This probably looks really silly, but just like, bear with me. It might look really cool, it might look really stupid. Let's find out. <laughs> I'm going to get your still on the property again, and I'm gonna... Oh my god, my lashes are in the way. Oh, I don't know how to do this, oh my god. I'm gonna have to take it off. <gasps> Ooh, okay, kinda snapped. I'm gonna just like try have to do this like freehand because the sticky tape was just like not working for me. Oh, it looks kind of cool. It's just a little bit annoying now. I think I might have to put it in my waterline. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in my waterline. Okay, yeah, definitely helped putting it in the waterline. I'm just like a little not really happy with this wing over here. It's just a little bit untiny, but I don't want to like go and fix it and then stuff up the whole thing. <laughs> You know what, I'm just going to leave it, otherwise I'll stuff it up probably. But that is the first I done. I'm just going to go off camera, do my eyebrows, because I forgot to do them, uh, do my lashes, and then we will move on to the lips and the face. I'm going to contour as well. I'm going to do a few, a few bits off camera, and I'll be all right back. Okay, so we're back, and I made a few adjustments, so I had to make the wings bigger, but I think making the wings bigger on the bottom makes it look more alien-esque instead of, like, Egyptian, because I was like, damn, this looks really Egyptian, and that's not the vibe I was going for. So I extended the bottom wings, and I think it looks more cooler. I don't know, it just looks a little bit cooler, in my opinion, but that is the other eye done, and I need to move on to highlighter now. <laughs> Hmm, what am I going to use? I forgot to contour, so I just quickly contoured. Um, I haven't done my eyebrows either. You know what? I'm just not going to do my eyebrows. <laughs> I'm going to go back in with Pluto, and I'm going to put that in my eyebrow highlight, because I think that looks so pretty. That's what I did with my last look, and I was, like, obsessed. So I'm going to do that again. It just looks so pretty. Oh, my God. It just looks really pretty. Okay, I've just had an idea. Um, I don't want to put like big lashes on. I'm just going to keep my normal upper lashes. But I am going to do some bottom accent lashes. So just like little ones like these. And I think I'm going to just stick them there. And I'm just going to do that off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have just glued them on and they look really cool. Um, very happy with how this eye look is turning out. Now, moving on to highlight on my favourite step, I'm going to go in with Wet Dream from the Supreme Frost, which is a Supreme Frost. I really want to get the palette. I'm probably most likely going to get the palette. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go in with this. I'm glad that he didn't like double up on the shades that he released. Um, I'm not sure if I want to get Money Honey or if I just want to wait and see like if it's a 
a gr I think there's a greeny colour in there, I'm not sure, but I'm going to wait. But yeah, let's highlight now, because that's just my mouth. Maybe right there. But yeah, let's pop this on and get bloody glowing. Oh my god. Every time, it's just like, stun. I'm also going to put some on the nose and also on the temples and of course on the cupid's bow. Let's just put it all in my beard. <laughs> but yeah, now we're glowing. Oh my god, hi. Um, and then we're up to the last step, which is just still on the property on the lips. I love the shade so much. <laughs> love it. I love it so much. Oh my god. Right, so I'm just going to pop this on my lips and I'll be right back. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that in one swipe. Oh my god. Okay, guys, and that is the finished look. Oh my god, let's give you a little montage, shall we? And that is a finished look for today, the second day of Alien Week. I guess I can call it Alien Week. But yeah, I absolutely loved how this turned out. This is exactly like what I envisioned it. And I'm so happy with how it turned out. I absolutely, like, I absolutely love this shade. I think it's so cool. If you just put a wing on and then this colour, like, that is a look. Like, that is a look. Oh my god, I absolutely just, like, you're still on the property. He needs to do more shades like this, like the metallic formula in like every colour. I want every colour in this formula. Thank you, Jeffrey, please. Um, like I said, a yellow would be so cool. Like I don't think anyone's done like a metallic yellow. Like not gold, but like yellow. Like maybe like, oh my god, like a lime yellow, like a fluoro yellow, that'd be so cool. But this is today's look. I really hope you enjoyed, guys. I absolutely love this, how it turned out. It's exactly what I envisioned, so I'm very happy. But yeah, I usually upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, but today you're getting, not today, this week you're getting a whole week of videos. Lucky you. Using the Alien palette, of course. We still have a few more colours to double into. I haven't used Flying Saucer yet. I really want to use that in my, like, Jane Charles-esque look, where it goes... I really want to use that shade. Um, and we haven't doubled into Probe. I really want to use Probe. Probably in my next look, I'm going to use Probe, because it's a little bit beautiful. I haven't even touched it yet. Actually, no, I did swatch it, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I swatched it. But yeah, I am so excited. I think the only shades, yeah, are like this bottom one and X-Files. I've used all of these almost except for Flying Saucer. Oh my god! I love this palette so much, like I'm absolutely loving it. But I'm going to give you like my full like impressions on the last like look that I do on Friday. And I'll give you like the full tea on like this palette. But so far, so good. I'm absolutely loving it. They blend out amazingly. It's definitely like blood sugar, like same formula, they just blend out so well and the colours are so unique and like no one is doing these colours and I absolutely love it. So, that is today's video guys, I really hope you enjoyed. If you are new here and you haven't already, I would literally love if you would subscribe. I have got a few subscribers recently, so thank you so much for subscribing if you are new. Thank you so much, I absolutely love it. It makes my day when I get a new subscriber, even just like one, like just one subscriber just literally makes me so happy and it's just like, yes. <laughs> um, but if you enjoyed this video also, I would literally love to give a massive thumbs up down below. Give me a comment down below. What would you like to see me do? I am taking suggestions because I'm filming on the day that this is being put out there. Uh, so let me know what you want to see like done. I have a few plans. I think I might do my next video 
a, like a really ultimate like smoky eye because there's all the shades that you need for a really cool smoky eye in this palette so I think that's going to be a really good look I also want to do like a James Charles-esque look if you don't know what that means like you know the James Charles look that I did where I reversed what he did on his palette I want to do that with the Alien palette with all the colors from there I think that's going to look so cool um, and there's just one look that I'm not sure about so if you could help me out that would be amazing let me know what you want to see me do that will help me out and I literally love every single one of you and I thank you so much for watching this video and all the comments have been really nice on my last video so yeah I just I'm really happy and grateful and yeah I am gonna go now and I will see you in tomorrow's video bye guys back, back, back from the dead. <laughs>